Hey guys, what's up? It's Taylor. Welcome to my channel. I'm super excited to show you guys my daily routine while I live here in Hawaii. For those of you guys who don't know, we literally moved to Hawaii and it's... Yep, as Lexi said. Ah. And it's been super awesome and I thought it'd be kind of fun to just do a vlog, show you guys kind of what a day in the life is like. So, I'm super pumped. Let's get to the video. Good morning. I'm the last to wake up in the family. I didn't really sleep the best last night, but we're just vibing. Let's go get some breakfast. All right, here's our view. It's a little bit rainy today. Hopefully it'll get sunny. Guys, where's mom? She told me she was in a meeting at Sunday. It's still pretty early in the morning and I'm in my running clothes and I'm about to go for a run with my mom. We usually just do like two, two and a half miles. So it's a lot easier to run in Hawaii than it is in Utah. My hair's looking a little bit crazy, but let's go on a run. The cutest little chickies on our run today. Look how cute. There's a bunch of little babies. Aww. Let's get back from my run. As you can see, my face is like literally purple and I'm so hot and sweaty. So I'm gonna go get in the shower and I'll see you guys after. Dad made some delicious eggs with ham and I added some cheese on top. Now that I'm out of the shower, I'm just going to wash my face. I probably should have washed my face in the shower, but I didn't think about that. So I'm just gonna use this CeraVe. It's super good for the mornings. And then next, I always do lotion. I do my proactive face routine at night, which you'll see at the end of this video. And then I just do the step three lotion in the morning right after. And I always make sure to moisturize around my eyes super good because around my eyes can get super dry. Now that my face is washed, my teeth are brushed, I'm just gonna go in and do a little bit of makeup. I kinda want more of the natural look because it's just gonna get wet and mess up anyways in the ocean, so it's good to just keep it super simple. So I just put concealer on any acne or weird red spots or anything that I have on my face. Super simple. Now I'm just gonna go do my eyebrows. I just have clear eyebrow gel, so works out super awesome. My eyebrows are done and I'm all good. Now I'm just gonna work a little bit on my hair. I'll put on mascara later. And here is the mess that is happening. Okay, my hair is still a little bit wet from the shower, but I'm just gonna leave it down, let it dry for a little bit, and then I'll style it. Maybe I'll tie it back so it's not like in my way as much. Okay, so I tied my hair back in this little ponytail and I'm just about to start school, but I need to print some stuff out first. So we are going over to the college here, BYU Hawaii, it's like a 10 minute drive. And then we're gonna go print some stuff out there so I can do all my school. The deadline for the end of the term is not tomorrow, but the next day. So these next two days are gonna be super stressful and I'm just gonna have to do a lot of homework, but that's okay. It'll be worth it to have good grades and I mean, I don't know if they're gonna be good, but good enough grades and so let's go to BYU. Okay, so we're here at BYU Hawaii. I printed out lots of stuff. And then we're also putting together a little package for the grandmas so they can have a little bit of sunshine while they're in Hawaii. So look at all that fun stuff we're getting for them. I think they're gonna like it. And then we have stickers we're gonna decorate the front with. So it's super cute. I think they're gonna like them. I think they will too. I'm so excited. And we got this beach bag because we've been needing a beach bag. Yes. It's 50% off. Good deal. So yeah. hopefully we can contain our I'm stuff. I'm excited. Beach. BYU is the way to go. Okay, we just printed stuff out at BYU. BYU and printed out a lot of stuff. We ended up printing out how many sheets? Like 40 sheets of paper because 47. I had a 47. I had to print out lots of stuff. Lexi had to print out lots of stuff and my mom had some documents she had to print out. And so all together it was just a lot. And then we printed some pictures for our grandmas that we can ship out too. So we printed out a lot of stuff and then shipping everything took like an hour, which was fine. So that was a little bit stressful, but I'm glad to be back in the car. We just went and stopped at the gas station to get us some drinks to like fuel us up and get us ready because we are going to need to spend a lot of time on homework today because it's almost the end of the term. So, crossing my fingers that it won't be too overwhelming and I can get stuff done. Pretty crazy. Okay, so I did a little bit of school. I did like 20 minutes. I actually didn't really do that much, but we're trying to get on a different schedule where we surf in the day and then do homework in the nighttime so we can get the best out of the sunlight in the day. So I'm in my swimsuit and I'm ready. We are about to go to the beach. The swimsuit I picked today is the Ali Leopard Tankini and I really, really love it. So I paired it with some shorts to add a little bit more of a sporty look. I love the shorts, especially when we're surfing because you're laying down, you're doing a lot of movement and it's just, you feel better and more confident to have shorts on. So I added the shorts, but it still looks super cute without. 
And then there's a cute bronze gold zipper that I love. Kind of obsessed with this too. I have like a couple different colors in this shape, but this one is for sure my favorite, just the leopard. And if you wanted, you could unzip it just a little bit. Not enough that it's immodest. And then it just adds another fun little sporty look. So that's my suit for the day. And as for my hair, I literally didn't even style it. I just took it out of the ponytail and I'm just leaving it like this. I did cut it shorter a couple weeks ago and I actually cut it way too short. So I kind of just kept it in a ponytail for a couple weeks until it grew out. I like this length. I think I would prefer it to be a little bit longer, but I'm finally to the point where I can just wear it down and it still doesn't fit all the way into a bun yet, which is what I'm kind of striving for. But until then, I just like to wear it down. I like the blunt cut. I actually haven't styled my hair at all this whole trip, which is so weird because back in Utah, I am styling my hair all the time to go to school and stuff, but it's so weird to be here in Hawaii and be like, why have I not styled my hair? Like I haven't curled it, straightened it, waved it. I haven't put heat on my hair in a long time, so it's really weird. And my mom is wearing the same shape I am, but in a different color. So. Yeah, so this is the high dye Alley, the bright one, and I just really, really like it so much. So we're wearing the same suit, same different suits, colors. Different. I feel like I need more of a tan, so hopefully by the end of the trip, I'm tanner. You're tanner than better. me. Well, I my legs are a fake tan. But your legs are tanner than mine. Both our legs are fake though, right? Gosh, yep, fake legs. <laughs> my legs don't tan, so I always put self tanner my legs, but the rest is natural. Okay, we are here at Ali'i Beach. Ali'i, how do you say it's up? We're here at Ali'i Beach, and it's super pretty. You. Rainbow, what? That's actually so sick. That is so cool. Yeah, we're just picking it up. It's pretty okay, too, so. Big rainbow. So, Ali'i so far is a win. It's super awesome. It's a little bit windy. It's been windy every day we've been here so far. I'm not gonna and the water is actually so blue here, which is so nice. And it looks like there are a lot of other kids surfing, so we won't go too out of line while we're surfing. Although the waves are a little bit smaller than what we're used to, so these are a little bit beginner, but they will still be super fun to surf on. Bobbing his head, coming along. So cute. And these guys are eating some ham and cheese. So Lexi packed a full snack bag. She made sandwiches. And we have dried mango and trail mix. So much yummy food into Lexi. Oh uh, yeah, if you can catch it, go for it. And I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of a rough day of surfing. I didn't catch very many waves and I just kept getting water in my ears. And I don't know if you guys know this, I have this weird ear condition. I don't even know the real term for it, but water in the ears just sucks so bad. So it was kind of painful. We were able to catch a couple waves, which was awesome. And the sun just barely set. And I actually got some good Instagram pictures, which was awesome, so I'll add them in right here. I actually haven't seen them yet. I think they're cute. I don't know, my dad took them, but the sunset was so pretty, and it was just perfect because I was sitting there on the board, and my dad, he's like, let me go grab my phone. So he took some pictures, and it worked out super good. So I'm super glad we got some good pictures. Brian, would you say it was a good day of surfing? Yes. London actually hurt her knee, so she's just hanging out. changed, I'm in some comfy clothes, and now I have to work on school for a couple hours. One eternity later. All right, now it's time to un get ready, un get ready. Now it's time to wash my face and just get ready to go to bed. I obviously from surfing today have some mascara under my eyes, so I'm gonna wash that off first. Using the same CeraVe that I used this morning. It's super good for your eyes, it won't hurt your eyes, and so it just is really good for removing makeup. A few moments later. But my makeup is all washed off, I'm just gonna go in with my face routine. So for my face wash at nighttime, what I do is I just use the proactive face wash that you can just buy on Amazon. All right, the last step is the lotion. The same lotion I used this morning that I put on my face. So my face routine is kind of everywhere. All right. 
right, that settles it. It is about, I have my retainer in, so I kind of have a list. It is 10.40 and it's time for bed. I'm going to read my scriptures, say my prayers, and then after that, I always read for about 15 or 20 minutes before I fall asleep because it helps me fall asleep so much. If you're not a reader, I recommend getting into a good books.